Hello everyone, my name is The Leech. I'm going to bring you a StarCraft cast today. This is actually my first cast I have ever done, uh, but I really enjoy playing StarCraft and I love watching replays even more. So hopefully this is something you guys will really enjoy as well. Um, in this game today, it's going to be a PvZ or Protoss vs Zerg. Um, the, our Protoss is going to be Soul Stylish here, the red Protoss on the top right. Um, I've actually never heard of him before, but his opponent is a little more well known. Down here in the bottom left, the blue Zerg, E.G. Idra, who I'm sure you've all heard of. Um, he has played in the GSL and gotten to the round of eight as a foreigner, which is very impressive. I see a little chat going on here, Soul Stylish saying he has a new build, so maybe we're going to see something tricky out of him. Uh, and then the talk goes to Korean, so I'm not sure what they're saying, but I'm sure they're probably playing on the Korean ladder. Um, Idra here, just doing normal stuff, making his overlord, getting some uh, drones out. Um, I am not a fantastic player myself. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I am in the Gold League, rank 1. I know, no big deal. Um, but I'm nothing fantastic. But I do love keeping up with the esports scene, and StarCraft is just the future of it. Um, we do see Idra's drone heading down here. And he is going to send that up to start scouting. Um, it looks like, since he is a 15 supply right now, he's probably going to be going for a fast hatch. Um, our Protoss buddy, Soul Stylish up here, has his first gate coming down, very normal, also has his gas coming down right here, and is continuing to make probes. Idra did start his hatch, his expansion down here. For those of you that aren't aware, this map is Zelnaga Caverns. Um, if you've ever played games, you've probably played on this map before. It's uh, very one of the most standard maps, and most of the pros, from what I can tell, really enjoy playing on it. Uh, there's the two starting positions here. Um, bottom left, where E.G. Idrid is, and top right, where our protest, Protoss friend Soul Stylish is. Um, each place has a natural expansion right down this ramp here. Uh, that comes to this area. It's a very open natural expansion. There's many entrances to it. Uh, two right through here, separated by this little gap in the opening, and um, one through these destructible rocks, and one through these debris, not debris, debris sorry, but trees. Um, gonna get back to what they're doing here. Uh, Soul Stylish coming down with a cybernetics core, getting his zealot here to do a wall off. Doesn't want any zergling run bys going on that can be really damaging to the economy. And uh, chrono boosting out probes. Very, very normal stuff. Um, Idra's Hatch is going to finish here pretty soon. He also has a spawning pool and a gas coming down. It looks like he started the spawning pool first, uh, so that would be kind of abnormal if he went for speed. Usually the uh, gas comes down first if he's going to be going for speed. He does instantly put three in there, and he is starting to move his overlords up here just to get some sight of what's going on. Um, take a peek at everything. Do see the warp gate being researched and um, chrono boosted, so we'll see what he's going to be doing there. A lot of times that can be an indication of a a four gate or uh, many other strategies do have a second gateway coming down here and just continuing to make probes. Um, Idra doing a little drone transfer down here to uh, get his guys down. Getting his, I think that's his first queen actually coming out and a roach warrant as well. That's very interesting. Um, of course, the first warp gates are. Uh, I'm sorry, the warp gate research is getting close to coming down, and Idra actually snuck in a drone in the main base by clicking on the minerals. Um, of course, the drones will go through any other sort of units if it's going to a mineral patch, so he snuck that in. And he is going to see a robotics facility going down and a twilight council, so we're probably going to be seeing blink stalkers. Um, also, a third gateway. I'm not sure what Soul Style is going to be doing here with this robotics. It's very interesting. Um, he does have one sentry out and one zealot out here. Warp gate is getting pretty close to being finished. And Idra does now have his Roach Warren finish, and he's starting his lair and getting his second gas. So we'll see what's going to be happening here. Layer still coming down. No speed yet. Doesn't look like any upgrades because he's going to need that layer for the roaches. Um, Idra does have overlords placed around here. Um, one up here that he's starting to sneak in to the top here. Um, Soul Stylish does have a Warp Prism coming out. That is very interesting. And of course, the Blink coming down for the Stalkers. Uh, warp Gate Research is finished, and he's starting to get all those turned into Warp Gates. It does look like he stopped making probes. And he did. He is going to sack this Overlord. This is definitely going to die there. Way too slow to get away. Uh, Soul Stylish is getting some Stalkers in here, and that's easily going to be shot down. But I think Idra saw everything he needed to see. Um, if we take a look here, uh, Idra has seen everything. So nothing should come as a surprise to him right now. Though. 
that War Prism is out, and that is very cool. I love watching War Prism play. That's why I love watching White Ra. He does some very cool games. Picks up that one sentry and starts to move out. That is interesting. Also, does have a proxy pylon down here that I missed earlier. Uh, so proxy pylon that can sneak through here. Uh, Idra did scout a little bit, but he didn't quite go far enough. Idra does have a few roaches out now. If we look at the actual army tab, we can see that the Protoss is quite ahead. Um, usually that is normal for Zerg, though. They usually don't start uh, making units until they feel pressured. We do start to see units coming down here to this Zelnaga Tower for Soul Style. And if we take a look at the units tab, we do see that Idra is ahead by well, 12 um, workers there. Um, but it looks like the Protoss just stopped making workers quite a while ago. And he is actually coming in for a push here. War Prisms going to the high ground. Uh, does Force Fill and blink up the Stalkers in the main. He's going to get four free Roaches here, and he's going to start warping in more units. Idris trying to come do an attack from the side, but he is not going to have any of it. Soul Stylish is moving his Stalkers out of the way, taking out Overlords. Very annoying, very annoying stuff here. He is losing, uh, looks like, one or two Stalkers here, but the War Prism is still set up. And he does have enough for another force field here. He's going to be able to keep these four roaches down here for quite a while. Soul Cell starting to do damage all over the place. He's going to be able to move in and take out a lot of drones here if Idra is not careful. But he is watching the ramp very carefully. I think he has enough for one more force field. Um, he is just still getting, just having roaches thrown at him here. He does have a, uh, still just the... Just the three gate. He's not changing anything in his base. He has thrown down a pylon here so that uh, Idra cannot counterattack and get Zerglings into his main. That's very smart. He's in warping some zealots here. Got another force build down. That's got to be so annoying for Idra to deal with. Idra does have a Hydralist in down, and he is trying to pump out some more roaches still. If we look at the production, he's got three roaches and eight Zerglings on the way. But Soul Stylish here is doing a lot of damage with these stalkers. A little bit of blink micro going on, uh, trying to save as many of these stalkers as he can. Beautiful blink back, but Idra did catch it and finish that off. Some Zerglings are going to sneak up here from the natural to try and help out. Um, I'm not sure if Idra's going to be able to clean this up. This is very close. Um, wow, Idra, though, has taken a lot of damage. And if we take a look at the units tab, Idra's actually behind on Harvesters now by one, by two. That is a huge deal when you've early expanded like this. He should be ahead. These two last two stalkers though look like they're gonna go down, but there is more coming in. There's still more stuff being warped in. More zealots coming into the main here, doing a lot of damage to the queen, a lot of damage to all these zerglings. And the queen goes down again. This has got to be so upsetting for Idra. More zealots coming in, just keeping the swarm, doing a lot of damage to all these roaches. Idra does have a lot of harvesters down here. 15, it looks like. That's not fully saturated though. He has pumped out another queen. Um, Soul Stylish though is going to pick up his Zealots, decide he's done enough damage, and just fly him away in the War Prism. I'm um, starting to get some more Stalkers here in the main. Maybe talking a little trash. I'm not sure what he's doing there. I cannot read Korean. Soul Stylish does still have this proxy pylon down here, so he could do another attack from down here. And Idra has got to be very concerned about what's happening. Looks like he's got three Changelings out. I'm not sure where those are. Here we go. Three Changelings that are going to run up and maybe try and get a peek in the base here and see what's going on. A little more chatting going back and forth here. And uh, Soul Stylish will have none of that changeling nonsense. And he's actually moving out with seven Stalkers and three Zealots in the War Prism. Uh, Idra is sitting with 12 Zerglings and five Roaches and two Queens. So should be an interesting little push here. But he did take so much damage, lost so many Harvesters there at the beginning. And it was such a setback. Uh, War Prism's been set up, a bunch of Zealots being sent in. Looks like we've got six Zealots here, a Sentry, and Stalkers coming in, the War Prism following as well. And they're going to be coming down here and dealing some damage. There's going to be a pretty good little battle here, or as uh, our good friend Tasteless says, a engagement in the GSL. Idra warning his Zerglings around to try and get to the Stalkers, but Blink Micro is going to be jumping around. He's not going to be losing any of those drones coming in to help the fight now, and the Zealots are right in the expansion, just starting to pick apart these drones. That hurts so much. Queen's going down, force filling the ramp to uh, block any reinforcements from coming in. And this is not looking good for Idra. He is going to have to GG. He's down to 17 Harvesters, 3 Zerglings, 3 Roaches against multiple Stalkers. More units being warped in from this Warp Prism. Blink Micro happening. More drones going down. He's down to 11 Harvesters. EG Idra says something. I'm not sure what. 
That's getting some Hydralis out, and it looks like it's a GG. Hopefully it was a GG. We all know Idra doesn't always like the GG when he loses games. Uh, very good push coming out from Soul Stylish. It's cool to see that War Prism play. I really like that. Using those Blink Stalkers to get up to the high ground in Idra's main and just doing mass damage, keeping a force field was so key to block those extra Roaches from coming in. Would have been a lot different if he wasn't so ready for that. Uh, once again, very impressive play by Soul Stylish. I can't say I've ever heard of him before, but uh, with play like that against a good player like Idra, hopefully we'll see some more of him. Um, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. Once again, this is my first cast. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. I hope you guys like StarCraft, or if not, I hope you'll maybe start watching. It's a really fun game, and uh, it's, uh, it's great stuff to watch. It is the future of esports, as they say. Actually, it's the, it's the current esports. It's the biggest thing out there, I'm pretty sure. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and be getting out maybe one video a day uh, to keep everyone entertained here. I hope you guys all like it and you uh, come check them out. Uh, once again, my name is The Leech. On YouTube, I'm The Leech Starcraft. And uh, thank you all for your time. hope you have a good day.